Um, yes, very good performance. I think uh, uh, we, we were clinical, but still a lot of work to be done, especially discipline-wise and uh, breakdown area. But yeah, uh, it can never be, um, what do you say, um, we're very happy for the, the result. Do you think of your team's performance this evening? No, very happy. Um, you know, the guys came together nicely. I think they controlled the game um, relatively well um, and, and obviously worked hard to get the results. So, so very proud of the boys. Is composure a thing that you guys have been working on over the last few weeks? Because going down with Thorsten getting his yellow card scoring and when Thorsten was also on attack, putting you guys under pressure, the guys seem to be quite relaxed and cool. Yeah, it, I, I think it's a, a sign of the maturity of the team. I think the, the, the team's coming together nicely, and, and as they go in week and week out, I believe that they're maturing and, and, and growing into um, you know, the, the, the goals and the standards that they set themselves. Rory, did you change anything to your defence system? Um, well, look, we, uh, you know, obviously after, you know, after tour, um, you know, we obviously had a look at the defence and we said we wanted to, to, to make a step up in that department. So. Um, yeah, I believe that, that that the players have made the step up, and it's you know, um, uh, it, it's it's obviously the players' efforts as well as uh, you know, a bit of time and effort spent in my defence coach Shaw. Um, so, yeah, very happy for that uh, uh, in that department. Stoppelberg uh, injury concern or not really? We we're doing medicals as they are busy doing medicals as we speak. Um, I'd, I'd like to think that it's not a medic, uh, not a, uh, a concern. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll find out uh, a little bit later. He he picked up a he picked up a stinger in the game, and then um, you know obviously as the game went on, he kept hammering that shoulder with the tackles that he made. So um, you know the guys are assessing him at the moment. We'll obviously put him on try and put him on the road to recovery as soon as possible. So there's having a guy like Thorsten beside who did a bit of math off the game. Him and Makazoli are joint top try scorers in the competition. He nearly scored four tonight if one really looks at how well he played. But it's becoming an invaluable player for you guys. Yeah, um, Torsten's try is, is all about uh, the, the pack, I think, uh, especially in more time. Uh, that's, that's the thing we pride ourselves at. And um, yeah, it's, it gives a captain confidence to go out and say, let's take uh, a chance there at uh, kicking out penalties. So, but yeah, Torsten, my pimpy, but yeah, everybody um, stepped up. We can't single out anybody. Um, Tian Mayer uh, controlled the game nicely as well, and uh, with that cr cross kicks and you know, everybody just putting in the effort. It's a good performance, but uh, it's still early days. Um, we can't get ahead of ourselves. A lot of work to be done. Why did you decide on Tian Mayer to take that run out for early? <laughs> I think he. <laughs> <laughs> no, he actually. Um, uh, nominated himself, so <laughs> yeah, so he, ba he backed himself and oh, it worked out. Really, next week is your final home game for a while, um, yeah. but it's probably mm -hmm. your toughest mm -hmm. challenge yet to the Glasgow Warriors being quite impressive this season. What do you guys want to fix before the game? Sure, Morgan. Um, you know, it's always difficult to speak. Now, um, you know, I, I'm the type of guy who likes to go back and have a look at the video a couple of times, and and, and we'll pick up a couple of areas that that you know, a couple of focus areas for 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 next week. Um, you know, I believe we 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 made a good step up in defence, and it's uh, you know from an attacking perspective, we we've um, uh, you know we showed a couple of uh, showed what the team was capable of. So um, after having a look at the video, I'll be able to give you an answer, but unfortunately before then, it's going to be very difficult, yeah. Rory, after the tour, I mean, the South South Africa side struggled naturally, given the short notice and everything else. Do you, do you feel now, after three weeks, you, you've really started to announce your arrival in the tournament and you can honestly say, look, we, we sort of belong here? Now. Yeah, I, I, you know, it, it hasn't been so much as announced our arrival. I believe that the first, the, you know, the first couple of games was, um, it was, there were a lot of learnings to be had, um, you know, on that tour, and obviously it was a tough tour both for, for players and for management. Um, but yeah, just to compliment the players, the way the way that they adjusted and adapted to to you know the the, the changes that we made have been great, um, and obviously we're seeing it in the in, in the results here. With Sergio playing fullback, it almost looks like he's a natural fullback more than a wing. Um, he fits into that role perfectly. 
do you think that's probably his future in rugby? Yeah, I, I, uh, you know, Sergio, I always get excited when I talk about Sergio because I coached him from, uh, from schoolboy. And he played fullback for me at school level, so I knew that he was, he was more than capable. And he's actually got quite an impressive boot in him as well when he decides to use it. So, um, yeah, I believe there, there, there could be a, a future position, uh, position from there. Thank you very much. Thank you. I won't bug you this weekend. That's all right. I'll have a look at that video and I'll come back to you on that. <laughs>